Perhaps one of the easiest ways to work with polygons is to find their perimeter, or the distance around their sides. The triangle is the simplest polygon, so finding its perimeter is simple. What is a perimeter? Perimeter is the distance around the sides of a polygon or other shape. Perimeter is always the same linear measurement unit as the unit used for the sides. In the equilateral triangle below, triangle WUT has sides WU, UT, and TW. The little tick marks on the sides indicate that all three sides are the same, so the measurement for WU, 27 meters, is also true for the other two sides. To find the perimeter of the triangle, add up the lengths of the three sides, and you get P equals 81 meters. The perimeter of our triangle is 81 meters. Now let's review triangle classifications. A triangle is a three-sided flat shape that closes in a space. The three sides form three interior angles. Triangles come in many configurations, depending on your choice to focus on their sides or their angles. Acute and obtuse triangles are in a category called oblique triangles, which means they have no right angles. You can find the perimeter of every one of these triangles using this formula. This is always true when P is the perimeter and A, B, and C are the lengths of the sides. Only with equilateral triangles can you substitute multiplication for addition. Since equilateral triangles have three equal sides, P equals 3 times A, or P equals 3A, where P is the perimeter and A is the length of any side. How to find the perimeter of a triangle? Here is a scalene triangle, DOT, with measured sides of 9 yards, 11 yards, and 13 yards. Now, add up the three lengths. 9, 11, and 13, and we get P equals 33. Here is an isosceles triangle, LEG, with base EG measuring 175 millimeters. Only one leg is measured, LE equals 200 millimeters. How long is side GL? In an isosceles triangle, the other leg is equal to the identified leg so you also know GL equals 200 millimeters. Now you can just add up the sides, and you get P equals 575 millimeters. Some textbooks and mathematics teachers can take a simple concept like perimeter of triangles and turn it into a challenge. Let's work through one of those more challenging perimeter problems. Here is a triangle, YAK with a given perimeter of 118 kilometers, but the sides are identified in an unusual way. We have side YA as 5 more than twice a number, and YK as 10 less than 6 times the same number, and side AK as 15 more than 4 times the mystery number. What are we supposed to do with all of that? Turn each sentence into an algebraic expression. Let x be the unknown number. 5 more than twice a number becomes 2x plus 5 equals ya. 10 less than 6 times the same number becomes 6x minus 10 equals yk. 15 more than 4 times the mystery number becomes 4x plus 15 equals AK. Perimeter is the sum of the sides, so if you put these expressions together you get this equation. The first step is to combine terms, which gives you 12X plus 10 equals 118. Next, subtract 10 from both sides to isolate the variable. Finally, you divide both sides by 12. This gives you X equals 9 kilometers. Now we go back to each expression and replace x with 9 kilometers, and solve each expression until we have the length for each side. To confirm our sides, add them to see if they equal the given perimeter.
Well done. You used algebra to solve a perimeter problem.